guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this beautiful smoky eye look using Fenty's new snap shadow palette number six yes we are doing another Fenty review and I'm so here for it. This palette is bomb and I really wanted to save it for a New Year's makeup look. I promised you guys in my previous video that I would do a review on this palette as well. So I'm back for that again. And this is what I came up with. I am so here for it. I feel like this is such a beautiful, like elegant New Year's Eve makeup look. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. So now I'm going to start off with palette number six. This is going to be the major key that we need to get our smoky eye. So I'm going to start off by picking up this shade right over here and that is called tan lines and I'm going to use that as my transition color. I'm going to pick that up with my NYX number 16 brush. Okay, do you guys see how easy that was to blend? I'm so happy with it right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into our palette number six and I'm going to go in with the shade that deep, which is this beautiful black shade right there. This is really going to help intensify our crease and also really bring that smoky eye to life. So right now I'm going to go ahead and pick up my Fenty 230 brush right here. I really like this brush because it really helps you get into the crease and it's just such a nice defined brush, if that makes sense. So I'm going to use that. And then now I'm just gonna go back in with my NYX brush and just blend everything out so that everything is nice and flawless between the two shades. This is really key if you're doing a smoky eye. You really wanna make sure you're taking time to blend everything out so that it looks really nice and flawless because when it comes to such dark shadows like this, it can look like a chalky blob on your eye, okay? If you don't blend it out properly. That's pretty much what I'm just going ahead and doing now. So now we're gonna pack in some shimmer, which I'm so excited about is to try this shade right here. Ever since I opened up this palette, I really wanted to try this shadow out. And this is called Second Date. And I'm gonna start to pack it on with my Fenty 200 brush. Ooh, guys, this look is really starting to come together. I mean, who is she? Look at that shimmer. It looks so pretty. Like this is more turning out to be a very dark gray smoky eye instead of like really black, which I'm not mad at because honestly, I don't really love a super intense black smoky eye. You know what I mean? So this I'm happy with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with this dark black shade right over there. That's called that deep. And I'm going to just start to blend that into our shimmer shade. And I'm using the same Fenty 230 brush that I used to intensify our crease just to start to lightly feather that in to our shimmer. So I'm gonna leave my eyes as is and I'm gonna go ahead and start to prime up my skin and of course I'm gonna use another Fenty Beauty product and I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I love this primer. It's definitely one of my top favorite primers of 2019. So I'm gonna go ahead and just work that into my skin. For foundation, of course, I'm gonna go ahead with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation, and I'm in the shade 370, and I'm gonna pick that up with my Fenty Beauty sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and just start to blend that into my skin. And now it's time for concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced concealer. Of course, I'm gonna take the shade Warm Sand this time just cause I think I need a little more brightness underneath the eyes. And then I'm just gonna use the same Fenty Beauty sponge I was using for my foundation to blend it out. And now to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with the OG of setting powders. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just start to set. And I'm not gonna go ahead and bake because I have drier skin, so I don't want it to, you know, make my under eye very dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set and wipe it away as quick as possible. Thank you. 
And now to bronze up my skin, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. I love this bronzer. I feel like it just gives your skin the most beautiful natural warmth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start working that onto my skin. And now for highlight, I'm gonna go in with this highlight by Bobbi Brown, and this is in the shade Moon Glow. And I'm gonna start to pick that up with my Nabla highlighting brush. This is such a beautiful highlight. It's definitely one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it on my nose and then on my cheeks. I can't believe I almost forgot to contour my nose, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. I just love how it looks. I know it's not for everyone, but for me, I just feel like it completes the look. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I'm gonna be using the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I love this because it gives your skin such a beautiful, flawless glow. You can use it after you finish all of your skincare steps or you can even use it to like refresh your makeup or to set your makeup. Now, is it a, like a long lasting setting spray? Of course not, but it does give the skin a really beautiful glow. So if you go in with this first and then go in with a more long lasting setting spray, it's gonna make your makeup look so beautiful and so flawless. So I'm gonna go ahead Ahead and just set my face and then I'm just gonna let it dry and then we'll go back into our eye makeup So now that my face is all set I just went back in with a little more highlight just to intensify the glow and I'm gonna do the absolute most by putting some on my forehead as well just a small amount just literally where the light touches so that our whole foundation just looks extra glowy I feel like if any time you should go extra with your makeup is probably New Year's anyways and then what I'm gonna do is I just go back in with whatever bronzer is left on the brush that I use to bronze up my skin and I go ahead and just blend that out so it's more like natural and we don't just have like two harsh lines there you know what I mean just making sure we take the time to blend everything out and then it will look bomb and now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner is it really a smoky eye without some sort of black eyeliner on your waterline I think not so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna go in with this black eyeliner from Maybelline this is their tattoo studio gel pencil liner and I'm taking the shade deep onyx 900 deep onyx Now I'm gonna go in with some mascara and I'm gonna be trying this mascara for the first time. It's by Benefit and this is their Bad Gal Bang Mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead with some of that. And then now what I'm gonna do is also apply some mascara on my lash line as well. I feel like doing this really helps complement the liner that we have on our waterline. I feel like that kind of does help add a little more darkness to the lower lash line as well without being too much with the shadow. I personally am really loving how this looks right now. So now for lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and apply, of course, lashes by Velour. This is in the style Doll Me Up. It didn't come in this case. It actually came in their big vanity set that they were selling for the holidays, but I just put it in this so I can show it to you guys right now. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like with the lashes on. I'm so here for it. They're still so beautiful in length, but they also allow your eyeshadow look to really show through. So now I'm gonna go in with some lip product and I'm gonna be taking this lipstick by Lila B. This is the first time I'm actually trying any of their lip products so I'm really curious to see how this looks on the lips. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful nude and I really want to go for a nude lip obviously to complement the smoky eye that we have going on and this is in the shade Be Elegant but of course I'm gonna go ahead first and line my lips with my Kaja Beauty lip liner. As you guys know it's my favorite lip liner to use to complement any other lip shade that's a little too bright for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of that and then we're gonna go in with this. So now that we have our lip liner on, I'm gonna go ahead with the lipstick from Lila B. And it's such a cute name, it's called Be Elegant. I think that's such a cute name for the shade and definitely matches the vibe that we're trying to go for for today. We're trying to have a cute, elegant slay. So I'm so here for this name shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on. Ooh. This smells really good, actually. It smells very fruity. This is actually a tinted lip oil, guys. So it's not a liquid lipstick, but I am here for it either way. It looks really beautiful on the lips and it definitely has a lot of pigment for a lip oil. 
So that is what it looks like with the lip oil. I think this is such a beautiful shade and I love how it looks on the lips. I definitely have to recreate this look again because I'm really happy with how it turned out. All right guys, so this is what the final look looks like. I'm so here for it. I feel like it's a very dramatic look, but at the same time, it still looks nice and clean. So overall, I am obsessed with palette number six. You guys saw for yourself firsthand how everything blended perfectly, the pigment, everything was just so beautiful on this palette. The shimmer shade, just looks so pretty. I'm obsessed with how this look came out and number six is definitely another cop and I can't wait to pick up some of the other shades but overall if you're planning to do like a really beautiful New Year's Eve makeup look and you're debating which palette to pick up I would definitely go with number six because it has everything you need to achieve that perfect smoky eye. I'm obsessed with it. Fenty snapped again as per usual and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash review. I can't believe we only have a few more days left till a new decade 2020 is around the corner so i'm wishing you guys nothing but the best in the new year thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join the family it really means a lot to me if you did make sure you have your bell notifications turned on because your girl uploads every thursday and sunday and you don't want to miss out and like always i'll see you guys in my next video